All right, hello year nine. I'm away today, so here's a very quick tutorial about how to make a customized key ring with your name on it. <clears throat> I will print this, you will print these key rings, and I'll give you a little key ring ring to go in this hole. You can put these on your bags, your you know, uh, pencil cases, whatever. I'll print the key rings in glow in the dark material at 100% infill, so it'll be a really solid, um, clean little print, so they'll look nice. Alrighty, so <clears throat> for this tutorial, you need a new file in Fusion 360. You need to go to dafont.com and in dafont.com, you need to find a cool font for your name. All right, you need to find a cool font for your name that's not thin, but we'll talk about that in a second. If you hear anything in the background, Christian's playing with his toys. All right, so in Fusion, create a sketch, click on the ground plane. We're going to click this little square tool, and we're going to drag a square out. You're going to type 45 on your keyboard, press tab, and type 45 again. All right, so that means you've made a 45 by 45 millimeter square. Okay, that is just there as reference. So we don't want this square messing with what we do next because it's reference, right? So you're going to click on the lines and press X on your keyboard. X, X for X men. Right? What that does is turns the lines from solid lines into dash reference lines. Don't click finish sketch yet. Go create, add text. Whoops, let's try that again. Create, make sure I'm escape. Create, text. Drag a little text box that's as close to the 45 millimeter square as possible. Enter your name. Okay, and I'm going to enter your name, press return so that your first name and your second name are on different lines. And I'm also going to press space so that the first letter of my first name and the first letter of my second name are sort of offset a little bit. All right, now. What you need to do is make sure your letters fit as closely inside the square as possible without going outside of the square. All right, so you're going to click on height and you're going to play around with that number until it fits as closely as possible. All right, the fonts you want, really chunky fonts, right? Because they will, the letters will appear more clearly when they're 3D printed. Uh, then thin, then thin fonts. You could use stencil fonts, I could suppose. You could do other things like that. That's cool. But fat fonts is what you want. What you really don't want, in terms of fonts, the worst possible thing you could do for fonts for this activity, are script fonts. Okay, things that look like calligraphy. Things that look like calligraphy loading all right fonts with like little lines between things little fine details will not appear yeah so a font, a font with like a thing like this right that won't come out back to fusion 360 you've got a good font you've played with the size so it fits click finish sketch Click on the letters, extrude by four, okay? Extrude by four. Then we're gonna, we've got our name. Now we're gonna create a body for the key ring. Create another sketch that's on the same face as the letters. Drag a square around our letters. Okay, cool beans. And before you click finish sketch, you're gonna find this tool, fill it. You're going to fill up this corner by a big number and this corner by a big number. You've got like alternate corners that have a really big circle. Press enter. Go back to fill it. And you're going to click the other alternate corners and fill it by quite a small number. All right, so you've got big round corners on one, one side and one side, big round corners on one corner and the other corner. All right, what's cool about this is you've got a rounded circle here. Okay, that's good. And a little dot. 
that little dot is the center of the rounded circle. So with that in mind, you're going to find the circle tool, click in the little white dot, and you're going to enter the same value as the rounded corner. All right, so that's what five millimeters. That's five. Press enter. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, cool, cool. Here's our body. Looks good. E extrude by three. Make sure you say join. And you've got your key ring body and your uh, your letters. Press F on the keyboard if you want. Click these edges. So you're going to smooth the edges out a little bit. F for fillet. Click on the edge. Click on the edge. 0.33. So it's just a really fine little smoothing. All right, good. File, save. Key ring. All right, save it. Then export it as an STL. All right. How do you submit these for printing? You're going to go to the class SharePoint. All right. Space, hearing activity, insert, file attachment. Oh, that's not good. All right. If the key, if you can't insert the file, I suppose you just have to email it to me. Okay. I'll go insert or email. Then, then in this spot here, Add, you can just take a screenshot, I suppose, or a render, put an image in there so that I can tell you if there's any mistakes and things like that. Cool? Okay. So hopefully that makes sense, everybody. Let's try and make a cool key ring. Uh, insert into the OneNote or email if that doesn't work. Right, good luck and I'll talk to you tomorrow.